So let's talk about the best places to live in Virginia Beach. As you look here, you can see that getting used to the area, we've got the Chesapeake Bay up here. We've got the Atlantic Ocean to the right. And uh, the big notables in the area, you've got Norfolk Naval Station right here. You've got Oceana Naval Air Station over here. you got Fort Story, uh, Little Creek, Dam Neck. Uh, you've got uh, Norfolk Naval Shipyard, the Portsmouth Hospital. And up here on the peninsula, you're going to have Newport News Shipbuilding as well as um, uh, Langley Air Force Base. Lots of military in the area. It Between military and tourism, those are pretty much the two big economic drivers in the area. So as we look at the map, you can see that up here we've got the city of Norfolk. Over here, the city of Virginia Beach, the city of Chesapeake, Portsmouth, and then into Suffolk. Each has their own unique feel. First, I would like to look at basically living on the in the Virginia Beach area. So let's take a look at Virginia Beach. First off, it's in the name Virginia Beach, right at the ocean front. So let's look over here at the north end. This is considered the north end of Virginia Beach. And as you can see, as you zoom in a little bit, look at those price tags of the properties that are up for sale or have sold recently. They're all roughly a million plus. You have to get a couple blocks off of the ocean before you get under a million. And some of these where you're right down there on the ocean front, you're looking $2 million plus. That's pretty, pretty steep price tag to get down to the ocean. But if that's what you're looking for, it's amazing. Continuing on to some other gorgeous prop, uh, gorgeous neighborhoods, we get down into this area, the Bay Colony Cavalier area. And shoot, you look in here, there's not even anything listed right now because in Bay Colony, people aren't even moving. Very popular neighborhood. It is generally expensive. You got a lot of really nice properties on the water. Down in this area, you have Birdneck Point. Again, a uh, very exclusive neighborhood. And the whole center of it going up is the Cavalier Golf and Yacht Club, right? A very, uh, an affluent neighborhood, affluent uh, 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 yacht club. If we go over onto this peninsula, sticking up into the Lynn Haven River area, we've got Lincoln Estates, we've got Ellington, and then into the North Great Neck. Again, there tends to be higher price tags, especially on the water. Here's a $3 million listing. Here's a 1.4, not even on the water. Uh, as we move over here into the King's Grant area, you'll see that things become more affordable. And by that, I mean, there's still over a million on the water. However, if you get inland, you're now into the 700s or so. If you get down into this area, you can get uh, some of the um, uh, older neighborhood where it's, you know, four and $500,000. And it's a, it's a great place to live. Very popular uh, in the King's Grant uh, uh, Peninsula there. Continuing back up into Northern Virginia Beach, you've got Bay Island. And this, uh, the unique thing about Bay Island is when it was uh, developed, the idea was that every single property owner would have access to a slip or a dock to get to their boat. Now, not everybody's on the water, but even those that are inland on the island have some access to uh, a dock of some sort. Kind of a neat, neat concept right there. And again, the price tag reflects it. Moving up in here, a lot of folks will say they want to move to Chicks Beach. They hear about it. Chicks Beach is actually this area over here on the left. A lot of times people mean this area. And we'll just call that Shore Drive. It might be Lynn Haven Shores, Lynn Haven Colony, a lot of different places, Cape Story by the Sea. Uh, as you get up into this area, you're looking at a lot of uh, condos and things like that, especially if you're down here on the water. There are some single family homes, and especially down in here, very established neighborhoods. It's a great place to live. Moving over onto this side, uh, as we head over into Chicks Beach, again, uh, you can get down onto the water. And now you are able to uh, walk along you know, Chicks Beach itself. This is a very quiet beach, for lack of a better word. People take their dogs out there. You can go out and generally not be bothered, unlike being down at the ocean front in southern uh, uh, Virginia Beach on the ocean front there. The neat thing about it is this is right here at the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Very large. Uh, that's the tunnel, the bridge that takes you all the way up to the eastern shore. It's a, like a twenty dollar toll. It does go zipping right through the neighborhood and and up. And so you'll be sitting on the beach and you'll be looking at this big tunnel with all this, uh, you know, these trucks going across and things like that. But it's very quiet, very uh, secluded beach, for lack of a better word. It's very nice. As you move back down. Um, there are some other nicer neighborhoods down in here, and that is essentially our our uh, our tour of the 
Virginia Beach area north of the highway. Now, if we move down south of the highway, whoop, scrolled the wrong, wrong way there, we get down into Oceana Naval Air Station. And this area over here is the oceanfront. We've got the Vibe District and Chatillon. Again, you're right down at the oceanfront. So there's going to be oceanfront type tourism and shops and restaurants and things like that. Chatillon is an older eclectic neighborhood where you've got uh, some a lot of development of some of those houses have been knocked down and put up some gorgeous bigger houses and some of the right next to these older smaller houses that you know people uh people still live in after you know 50 60 years and things like that so the the houses uh in Chatillon are it's not really uniform i've lived there myself it's a great place to live because you can walk everywhere down there to the oceanfront then you get down here to like the rudy inlet area and then into croatan great if you're looking to move on to the uh, uh, onto the ocean. Croatan's a great place. So as we go and look at the, um, the neighborhood here, again, we're into the millions to get into the Croatan neighborhood. Now, if you've got orders to Naval Air Station Oceana, uh, perhaps you're a pilot and you are looking to be anywhere near Oceana, most of the pilots and their families live either up here or down here. And I would say that the more of them live down here on the south side rather than the north side. I don't know why. They just do. It, the point is that if you go down in here and you go down into the Red Mill area, Lagomar, you're going to find that there are so many people that are based at the uh, at, at Oceana. And you can get into Lagomar for... You know, I think the average price is around seven fifty, eight hundred. You'll see some of these on here. This one is a fixer upper that's been on the market for a couple few months, and then you've got this other fixer upper over here, and then you've got these typical homes that are the seven, eight, nine hundreds uh, in Lagomar. Down in this neighborhood, you get some more newer built homes. They're all large brick, two story type homes. Very, very nice neighborhood. Or we might find ourselves if uh, going over here, like to the Christopher Farms area which is another great popular neighborhood. You look at this one, there's only one property on the market. This one's really nice. I like this one right here. Listed at 579, beautiful looking home. And you're, you got a great view of the water. You're right on Holland Road and you're into Christopher Farms for less than $600,000. So that's pretty nice. So again, what are we looking at? We're looking at Naval Air Station Oceana right here. And we said, hey, if we're, maybe we're a pilot, we got orders and we're looking to live down where all the other pilots live, it's probably going to be down in here, uh, typically. Now, if perhaps a bunch of single guys want to get a get a place together, frequently, I find them say that they want to be up here, and that's a great place to live. If you are uh, say say you're a, a single pilot and you want to have like two or three roommates, you go buy a house. You might buy it up here or up here, and then rent out several rooms. Great opportunity to do that. I do know some friends who did that on Bay Island one time a long time ago. Really worked out well for them. Now, if you continue south in Virginia Beach, you get down to the Sandbridge area. Now, Sandbridge is a different in that it's, uh, you know, you're going to be very, it's it's almost like the Outer Banks of North Carolina at this point. The, this beach goes all the way down to North Carolina. And you'll see that you've got Sound Side, you've got Ocean Side, prices up in the million uh, plus. A lot of these are Airbnb short-term rentals because Sandbridge allows that. Whereas the north end of Virginia Beach is very anti Airbnb and the city of Virginia Beach has really cracked down on, you know, short term rentals down here in Sandbridge. That's what everybody does. And so they're certainly allowed down here. So if you're into the higher end short term rentals, Sandbridge or Croatan are great places to look. If you're looking for a beach vacation place, those are great places to look. If you're, um, uh, if you're an 04 or an 05 on a, uh, you know, it, it, providing for a family, you're probably not going to be in Sandbridge unless you're independently wealthy. You're probably going to be down here somewhere or maybe up in this region right up in here. All right, so that's the review of Virginia Beach. I hope that helps. Look forward to more of these as we dive into each of the individual neighborhoods so that we get to know, uh, know the community. All right, talk soon.